Welcome back to Robert Lua where I show you the ins and outs of graphic designers who pertains to t-shirts, logos, and GIF animations. And today for T-Shirt Tuesday, I want to walk you through a hand-drawn, hip-hop, graffiti-type t-shirt design and illustrator. Now in many cases, you really want to make this process really simple for yourself and make a symmetrical design. Mirrored images are always easier to produce and it will help you deliver fast. So make sure when you're producing your actual sketches, you're looking for those opportunities to make a symmetrical design. Now I'm using my iPad Pro as a drawing tablet and I recommend everybody use using a drawing tablet because it actually makes it easier to create hand-drawn effects. There are some other ways to actually get that hand-drawn effect without the tablet, but I'm not going to show you guys that in this video. I'm going to save that for another time. But now that we got all these prerequisites down, it's time to get into this. So if you're excited about this, smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't, but let's go ahead and make magic. <laughs> Okay, so here we are once again in Illustrator and the way I want to start this is just by opening up my layers and pretty much just turning off this, I guess you could say this fill layer right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn this to none and I'm going to pick my brush. And now on this second layer, what I want to do is just go ahead and start drawing. So what I want to do is go ahead and take this touch calligraphy brush and just pretty much start making my hand. So it's much easier if you just start with the fingers first and then you move into the knuckles. But as long as you can stay within a path you'll pretty much be all right. And that looks pretty good. So now that we have this, all you wanna do is start adding details. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make this one right here like this. And I'm just gonna do that for all of these knuckles here like this. Then I also kinda of wanna do this down here like this. So we'll just do this the same exact thing over here like this. And then we wanna give it a thumb too. So I'm just gonna go ahead and draw the thumb. And then we just wanna continue our details. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make something like maybe right here. Bring up a little line right here and just kind of finish this out. So maybe I'll make like the grooves of the fingers over here and stuff like that. And that looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and select this out, all of this. I'm going to go to object, path, and then outline the strokes. And then I just want to go ahead and scale this down just a little bit like this. As a matter of fact, I can kind of turn it because I am kind of off just a little bit. Now I want to copy this and I want to bring this into another layer. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit command F and I want to take that and go into object transform and then reflect. And I just want to do a vertical reflect at a 90 degree angle and hit OK. Then I want to bring that over here like this. And that looks pretty good. So what I want to do is just lock these layers down and just bring up another layer real quick. And on this next layer, I'm going to use this for like my font and stuff like that. So I'm just going to bring up my brush again. And I'm going to zoom in really quick. Now, as you can see, there are some stuff that I can fix up, but I'm going to do that a little bit later on. I just want to go ahead and draw out the word fast five. And that looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and lock this layer down. And I just want to bring up one more layer. And this is just going to be kind of like a little small thunderbolt that I'm just going to put like, I guess, maybe like right here like this and one down here as well. And then I can take these, copy it, hit command C, hit command F, paste that in front, go ahead and go into the object, reflect, and then do a vertical reflection, hit that OK, and just kind of drag that off to the side as well over here. As a matter of fact, I might want to turn these slightly. So at the bottom, it just looks a little bit kind of off to me. And that looks pretty good. I'm going to fix out some of these lines, but what I want to do is make some of these distorted lines real quick, like some of this stuff on the side right here. You know, it looks kind of nasty. What I want to do is take the brush tool and just go over it again. So maybe like right here, what I want to do is just go ahead with my brush tool and just kind of draw in these lines. <laughs> And okay, so now that we got this, well, all we want to do is go up on this illustration with the pen tool and just outline it. Now, this outline is going to serve as a coloring, but right now I just got to get around this and just make sure that I can get everything in here. And then I'll be able to go in with a fill layer and just kind of fill that in. So now what I want to do is just swap the stroke to fill, and this is what we get. Now, it's just going to be black right now, and that's all right. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit Command C, and then Command F to paste it in front, and then go into Object, Transform, Reflect, and then do a vertical reflect. Now with this, I'm just going to go ahead and move this over into the second side, which is symmetrical to the first side, and just let that go. 
So now that we have this, all we want to do is go into our status bar at the top where the color is at, drop it down, and I think we're going to turn this into maybe a green. And that looks pretty good, but now what I want to do is get these thunderbolts out. So I made a new layer, and I'm just going to go up under the thunderbolts and just kind of get those out as well. And that looks cool, but what I want to do is just make some highlights real quick. So I'm going to go in with the white brush up under the actual outline, and I'm just going to go ahead and use the white brush to just brush in like some highlights. So my rule is just to go along the like lines or whatnot, but it has to be in a pattern that actually makes sense. So maybe something a little bit like this. I can actually go around the top of the edge, like maybe right here like this. And because this is symmetrical, all I have to do is just hit Command C, hit Command F to paste in front, go on the object, transform, reflect, and then do a vertical reflect. And then bring that to the other side. Now that looks good, but how about we just get a little bit more like, I guess, out there with colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring in like a pink real quick. And just kind of draw in like some spots where I think pink would look good at. So maybe up under like these knuckles, I can have like a pink going like that. And that can signify something. So maybe like over here, we could just make some of these shadows kind of like pink. And as a matter of fact, I might just go ahead and change this color back down to maybe like a brown. Something like this. And just to bring just a little bit more of those shadow features, we're just going to go ahead and bring like a darker brown in. And I want to go in and just brush in that darker brown as well. And that looks pretty good too so what i'm gonna do is just unlock all of these layers and i just want to go ahead and put this into one layer so i'm just going to highlight all of them and i'm going to collect into new layer and i'm just going to go ahead and click on it hold command c and then up under this make a new layer and drop that in using command f and now what i want to do with this bottom layer is just go ahead go down the path outline strokes and just make sure everything is outlined all right and then i want to go into my pathfinder and I want to unite all of this so it becomes this one kind of little art. And now that this is just all one layer, I just want to go ahead and turn the fill into a stroke. And I just want to stroke the outline out just a little bit like this. I actually want to align the strokes to the outside. So it looks a little bit more like this. I can kind of just scale that back some if it's too overpowering. Now I can turn this into a white and this is what we get. So you're probably not going to see what it looks like until I put this on an actual black background. So I'm going to just do that right now. And that looks pretty good. What I'm going to do is just drop down the stroke just a little bit more to maybe something like this. And as we can see, there's just a few alignment issues that I can kind of fix real quick. So I'm just going to go ahead and select these out. So just these two right here, I'm just going to kind of move them over some. And as one final kind of element, I just want to go ahead and kind of put like a little message in front of this. So I'm going to just draw out the word pause on them. <laughs> And with that final tweak, we have concluded this hand-drawn t-shirt. So hand-drawn elements are respected in most hip-hop cultures. You'll pretty much find this style almost anywhere, and it stands out. Some might say it's because of the color combinations, others might claim it's because of the stroke widths. In my opinion, it's because the designer took an extra time to go through and draw out the elements, and because you did that, people respect you more. But that's just my theory, and if you guys agree, let me know in the comment section below. If you don't, tell me what you think. Let's have a discussion. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you didn't. But with that being said, you guys, it's time to go ahead and get up out of here. So, stay amazing, stay creative, but above all else, stay awesome. Oh, 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 oh,